Greetings to all in Dr. Ava Chemistry Ki Part Shala. I'm back again with another video and thank you so much for watching my previous video and giving some lovely comments. Uh, those of you who could not watch my previous video, I have given the link in the description box. Please watch the video and give your comments. Uh, let's get started with this video where the topic is how to do well in your exams. I'll be talking primarily about the uh, subjective papers and not about those competitive exams where you have to mark the correct options. So the main points which I'll be covering in the video, uh, video are, the first one is uh, time management, drawing the mind maps, presentation, the order, how many questions to be attempted, shall we trick the evaluator while writing the answers, does that help? So let's get with, started with the first point that is the time management and reading the mind maps. <clears throat> so <clears throat> first you have to maximize on the reading time. Most of the boards they allow kids spare reading time for the paper. Right? Even if you're not given the spare reading time, <clears throat> what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to assign some two to five minutes for reading the paper. Right? and working out on your strategy, the order in which you'll be attempting the paper. How do you have to divide the time? That will depend upon the weightage of the question. If you're assigning two minutes to a one marker, you have to assign something like nine to 11 minutes to a five marker. Should you be, by what time should you be finishing the paper? 15 minutes before the uh, assigned time you have to finish the paper and the rest 15 minutes you have to revise so these couple of things you have to keep in mind you also have to keep in mind the questions which are tough please mark those questions which are tough so you can leave the space for them and can, you can come back to them once you're done with the rest of the questions the ones which are very easy the ones you're confident of you have to be extra careful about them because they are your Strengths, they are the one which are going to fetch you the 100% marks. So be very, very careful while you're attempting those answers. Many a times options are given. And when you're puzzled, if you have not worked out on an answer while you're writing the paper, you know, you are not in the right state of mind to decide which one should you do. So before uh, writing the paper, that is the time when you're reading the question paper, that's the best time to decide which option to do. Mark that option, right? So these are a couple of things which will help you to work on your time management better. And most of it, you have to work it in your mind, right? Whatever you possible, if you can write uh, on the question paper in pencil, although that's not a very good habit, but otherwise most of it, you have to work it in your mind. Okay, let's now uh, move on to the presentation. Presentation is a very important part of answers. A good handwriting can have a bad presentation and vice versa. What is presentation about? You know, the look of the paper, how the paper looks, how you can you make your, the presentation better? You can make the presentation better by leaving by drawing proper margins. The margin takes time because there are 24 to 32 pages answer sheet. So if you use that time when the answer sheet is given to you in the beginning only and use that time for drawing the margins, it is always better. So once you've drawn the mar uh, margins, while you're writing the answer, you please ensure that you're leaving proper gaps. Please underline the keywords. If there is a question which has got difference between, the question is differentiate between, always draw a table, right? And please ensure that if you've made a mistake, do not overwrite. Just don't overwrite. Just make a cut horizontal or diagonal just to ensure that the presentation doesn't get affected. If there are headers, like in language papers, generally you, there are a lot of headers, not in, uh, you know, sciences, but yes. in that. So please uh, under, uh, write the headers, underline them. Spacing is very, very important. Right? There are kids who have beautiful handwriting, but they don't leave space. When you look at the paper, it looks very congested. And for an evaluator also, you know, the space gives us a very positive feeling. 
we, we feel, you know, there are a lot of space where we can give marks and we can do, to, you know, sub parts have to be given marks and we can total the, the uh, marks. Generally, the marks are given in the margin. So, but the space uh, always uh, makes our calculations goes faster, right? So, numbering is, has to be written. And numbering is a very, very integral part of presentation. Next is, what is the order of answers? Should you be writing in the ascending order or the descending order? Either will do. But when you don't follow you know, ascending or descending, you start with question number 13, go to 14, 15, 16, then back to 12, 11, 10. Well, that makes no sense to us. Let me just update you the conditions in which the evaluator is checking the paper. They are not seated at their homes. We don't sit at home and we check the paper. We have to travel sometimes 50, 60 kilometers or sometimes in the different city for, for paper correction. And the number of hours we have to do the uh, correction, that's more than the number of hours we are devoting to our usual school timings. So always we are, uh, teachers are in a uh, slightly stressed state of mind. And the target has to be achieved. So what you can do is by giving a good presentation, by uh, ensuring that this correction is facilitated. So uh, the order has to be written in the ascending or descending. And please do it section wise. Not that question number two of section A, question number five of section B, uh, and then question number two, uh, uh, then section D. Evaluator is bound to get frustrated. And it is likely that he or she may be stringent with the marks. Yeah, because that ease with which the marks will come, that may not be there. If the, you know, uh, evaluator is spending a lot of time and just flipping through the pages and uh, looking through the different parts of a particular question. So uh, not a very right kind of uh, thing to be done at the end of the candidate, right? So please be careful about these things. And uh, uh, sometimes it happens that, you know, there are two or three subparts which you do not know. So should you be writing them down? Yes. Even if you know something which is remotely related to the answer or to the question you can make out, please write it down. All the boards, CBSC, ICSC, straight boards, they all are very student friendly boards. Evaluators are given uh, standing instructions that the answer, the marking has to be in favor of the student. So, but if you're not writing anything, you're just tying the hands of the evaluator. So, Give him or her liberty of giving you marks just by writing something which is related to the answer for the questions for which you do not know the answer, right? Let's move on to the next one. Should you be tricking the evaluators? Never. See, I think the basic funda is that uh, guru is guru. You know, guru is guru. Evaluator is at the end of the day guru only. So tr tricking the evaluator by writing an answer repeated multiple, multiple number of times, uh, I, I don't think so. It's the right way uh, of answering the uh, questions. I've, I've seen it many times. You know, same answer written at four places. You know, these are some of the factors that put us, the evaluators off, and they may not be very, very liberal with the marks. So don't do it. The optional questions, the children, they write both the options at different places. No, whichever is the better option, whichever you have decided in, in, in the beginning only, write that. And when you're writing that option at the, uh, as a header, just put which option are you doing, the first one or the second one. I'm sure these things, if you're kept in mind, definitely your uh, paper would be better than what you've expected. And I'm uh, sure this uh, was some value addition to you. Thank you so much for watching this video till end. If 